Have you ever found yourself gazing at the night sky and wondering, how long would it take us to get to Jupiter? Imagine, if you will, the vastness of space, and within it, the colossal gas giant, Jupiter. Our curiosity about the universe is as infinite as the cosmos itself. Now let's delve into the fascinating realm of space travel, specifically, our potential voyage to Jupiter. How long would this interplanetary journey take us? What complexities would we encounter? So, buckle up and prepare for a mind-blowing journey through the cosmos. Before we launch into our journey, we need to understand a few basics of space travel. First off, it's all about gravity. You see, every object in the universe, from the smallest pebble to the most colossal star, exerts a gravitational pull on every other object. Earth's gravity keeps us grounded and the moon in our orbit. But when we're talking about space travel, we're looking to break free of Earth's gravitational pull. That's why we need rockets, to provide the powerful thrust necessary to overcome Earth's gravity and reach the speed required for orbit, known as the orbital velocity. Next up is the speed of light. Now, you've probably heard that nothing can travel faster than light, which zips along at a mind-boggling 186,000 miles per second. If we could travel at the speed of light, we'd be able to reach Jupiter in just over half an hour. But unfortunately, our current technology is nowhere near that fast. The fastest spacecraft ever launched, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, is traveling at a snail's pace in comparison, a mere 200,000 miles per hour. Lastly, let's talk about astronomical units. An astronomical unit, or AU for short, is the average distance from Earth to the Sun, about 93 million miles. We use AUs to measure distances in our solar system because, well, it's easier than dealing with all those zeros. Jupiter, for instance, is usually about 5.2 AUs from Earth. So in summary, to travel to Jupiter, we need to break free of Earth's gravity, travel at incredibly high speeds, and cover a distance of about 5.2 astronomical units. It's not a small feat, but it's one that humans are determined to achieve. Now that we've got the basics covered, we can start our journey to Jupiter. Every journey begins with the first step, and ours starts with the launch and leaving Earth's orbit. The launch of any space mission is a carefully choreographed ballet of science, engineering, and sheer force of will. The rocket, a towering pillar of metal and machinery, sits on the launch pad. Inside are the spacecraft and its payload, ready to begin their journey. The process begins with the firing up of the rocket's engines. These engines, powered by a mix of fuel and oxidizer, generate a tremendous amount of thrust. This thrust needs to be strong enough to overcome the Earth's gravitational pull, a force that keeps us grounded, but acts as a barrier for anything trying to leave. Once the engines are at full power, the rocket begins its ascent. The ground shakes, the air vibrates, and with a burst of flame and smoke, the rocket is propelled skyward. This stage of the launch, known as the ascent phase, is where the rocket must overcome the thickest part of the Earth's atmosphere, which can slow it down and generate a lot of heat due to friction. As the rocket ascends, its boosters provide the extra push needed to break free from Earth's gravitational grip. These boosters are like the rocket's personal cheerleaders, giving it the encouragement it needs to reach higher and go further. Once their job is done, they're jettisoned, falling back to Earth while the rocket continues its climb. Now the spacecraft is ready to leave Earth's orbit. The final stage of the rocket fires up, giving the spacecraft the last push it needs. This push, or burn, is precisely timed and directed. It's this final burst of speed that allows the spacecraft to break free from the Earth's gravitational pull and set course for its destination. And just like that, in a blaze of fire and fury, the spacecraft leaves Earth's orbit. It's now on its way, hurtling through the vast expanse of space with nothing but the stars to guide it. With Earth fading away in the rearview mirror, our next stop is the vast expanse of space. With Earth's orbit behind us, we now face the long haul through space. Picture this. You're on a road trip, but instead of highways and rest stops, it's the vast expanse of the cosmos. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is no small feat. It's a whopping 365 million miles. To put that into perspective, you could travel to the moon and back over 760 times. But it's not just about the distance. Traveling through space is a whole different ballgame. 
There's no GPS, no roadside assistance, and certainly no coffee stops. The journey is fraught with challenges, from avoiding asteroids to dealing with the harsh realities of a zero-gravity environment. Our spacecraft, hurtling through the void, is a testament to human ingenuity. It's equipped with advanced navigation systems to plot the most efficient course, taking into account the gravitational pull of planets and other celestial bodies. It's a ballet of cosmic proportions, a delicate dance of push and pull as we traverse the solar system. Yet, even with the best technology, the journey isn't easy. Space is unpredictable. Solar flares can disrupt communication systems. Micrometeoroids, no bigger than a grain of sand, can cause significant damage at the speeds we're traveling. And let's not forget the psychological toll of such a long journey. The isolation can be challenging even for the most seasoned astronauts. To overcome these obstacles, our spacecraft is built to withstand the harsh conditions of space. It's enveloped in a protective shield to deflect micrometeoroids and equipped with redundant systems to ensure a safe journey. As for the psychological challenges, astronauts undergo rigorous training to prepare them for the realities of long-term space travel. And despite the challenges, the rewards are immense. There's the sheer wonder of exploring the unknown, the thrill of discovery, and the possibility of expanding our understanding of the universe. As Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, looms larger in our view, the excitement builds. As Jupiter looms larger in our view, we prepare for the final part of our journey. As we approach Jupiter, the giant of our solar system, we prepare to enter its orbit. Jupiter, the fifth planet from our sun and the largest in our solar system, is a gas giant, with a mass more than 300 times that of Earth. It's a behemoth of a planet, with a strong gravitational pull, making the process of entering its orbit a challenging endeavor. So. How do we do it? Well, it all hinges on speed and timing. As we approach Jupiter, our spacecraft needs to be moving at a precise velocity. Too fast, and we'll be pulled into the planet's atmosphere. Too slow, and we'll be flung back into space off course and far from our destination. The speed required to enter Jupiter's orbit is around 60,000 kilometers per hour. Achieving this speed involves a series of carefully calculated maneuvers. It's a bit like threading a needle, but instead of a thread and needle, we're dealing with a multi-ton spacecraft and a planet that's over 11 times the diameter of Earth. The first maneuver is called a gravity assist, a technique that uses the gravity of a planet to alter the speed and trajectory of a spacecraft. In this case, we use the gravity of one of Jupiter's moons, often Ganymede, to slow us down and put us on course for Jupiter. Once we're lined up, the spacecraft fires its engines, a move known as the Jupiter Orbit Insertion, to slow down enough to be captured by Jupiter's gravity. It's a delicate process, a dance of physics and engineering that, when done correctly, places us in orbit around the gas giant. But it's not just about getting there. Staying in orbit around Jupiter presents its own challenges from the planet's intense magnetic field to the potentially damaging radiation. Yet, Despite these challenges, the view is worth it. Jupiter's vibrant bands of clouds, its great red spot, a storm larger than Earth itself. With Jupiter beneath us, we have finally reached our destination. And what a destination it is, a testament to the wonders of our solar system and the ingenuity of human exploration. Now that we've made it to Jupiter, let's put our journey into perspective. The trip to Jupiter is not a Sunday drive or a quick hop on a plane. It's a monumental journey of epic proportions, spanning hundreds of millions of miles and taking us several years to complete. To understand just how long this journey is, let's compare it to other space missions. A trip to the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, took the Apollo missions about three days. Mars, the next planet over, took the Perseverance rover about seven months to reach. But Jupiter? Well, depending on the alignment of the planets and the speed of the spacecraft, a journey to Jupiter can take anywhere from one to two and a half years. Now that's a long time, no matter how you slice it. But it's not just the time that's impressive, it's the distance. If we were to lay out the journey from Earth to Jupiter in a straight line, it would stretch over a staggering 485 million miles. That's more than 2,000 times the distance from Earth to the Moon. And yet, Despite the vast distances and the lengthy travel times, we've made it. 
We've journeyed to the largest planet in our solar system, and we've done it with the power of human ingenuity and technology. As you can see, the journey to Jupiter is a long and complex one, but it's not beyond our reach. The journey to Jupiter may seem daunting, but imagine the possibilities of future space travel. As we look towards the future, it's clear that our understanding of space travel is evolving at an unprecedented rate. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and with each passing year we're inching closer to turning the dream of human missions to Jupiter into a reality. Space travel is no longer the domain of science fiction. It's here, it's real, and it's happening. We've already witnessed the successful launch and return of private spacecraft ushering in a new era of commercial space travel. This shift could dramatically reduce the cost of space exploration, making journeys to distant planets like Jupiter more feasible. And then there's the advancements in technology. Propulsion systems are becoming more efficient, spacecraft are becoming lighter and stronger, and we're devising ways to harness resources in space such as water from asteroids or solar power from the sun. We're even exploring the idea of building habitats in space or on other planets. But perhaps the most exciting prospect is the potential for human missions to Jupiter. Imagine the wealth of knowledge we could gain from such a mission. We could learn more about the gas giant's atmospheric conditions, its magnetic field, its moons, and potentially even discover signs of extraterrestrial life. There are, of course, challenges to overcome. The long journey, the harsh conditions, the need for sustainable life support systems. But these are not insurmountable. They are puzzles waiting to be solved, mysteries waiting to be unraveled. And as we continue to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible, we're proving that we have the capability to rise to these challenges. The future of space travel is an exciting frontier. It's a realm filled with endless opportunities for exploration, discovery, and innovation. It's a journey into the unknown, a journey that promises to expand our understanding of the universe and our place within it. While we may not be packing our bags for Jupiter just yet, the future of space travel holds exciting possibilities.